like, come on, my guy. We can leave. The only reason they're wanting to do this is probably because the old Driscolls. Yeah. Listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the O'Driscolls, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after Watch it crosses out. the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Great. Have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Sure. Good. Now come on. Let's ride. I gotta admit, this game is beautiful, though. Look at it. Look at it. Damn, why'd it get so dark so quickly? Only been out on the road for like five minutes. Out of the snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, that got cloudy quickly. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Jesus Just Christ. Happy we're back at it, you sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. Money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on! What are you doing? This seemed like a pretty nice game, but still... Hold up here on the still an asshole of a boss. I don't know. Whoa. I probably wouldn't work for this. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> All the horses shit at the same time. Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Check on Bill. Sup, Bill? Bill, what you doing? Send the bombs? How you getting off? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator.
Okay, where? This way? Oh, hopefully this doesn't blow up. Killing you. And mission is a total failure. Okay, this is good. Alright. That should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. You better. Jesus, get up there, horse. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, better faces. Train should be here any minute now. Got my weapons. Switch it. And cycle to the mask. Damn, I look pretty badass. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. Blow it up. Go. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It was my Come fault. on! You're pathetic. You know that? Jump on the train. Here we go! Here we go! Oh shit, here we go again. Lenny. Now stop yelling! Huh? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Yeah, you're okay. Hurry up, get on. Now, let's go slow this thing down. What's happening? Yeah. He fell! The others will get him. Come on, let's get to the front! Come on, we need to stop this train. Running on steam. What the hell? We gotta hurry. We have to stop this train. That's what we're doing, kid. Ah, oh, 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 son of a bitch. Reverse the grapple. Oh yeah. Got him. Shit, more guards coming out of that train car. Got anything on you? There's always a little time to loot. Still okay? Yeah. 
And all of them better hurry the hell up. Finally. God damn time, motherfuckers. What the hell? 92 cents. I'm looting all of them. Come on. Yeah, what? Anything? Take? Cigar? Motherfucker. You two what? All right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me. We will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Take dynamite. Uh, I take it. Now, don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Lighting. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. All right, come on. Just walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. Let me in. <laughs> Begin there, son of a bitch. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh yes, should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Okay. Uh, Let's see if we, we have can receive payments to Come on. Receive payments for Come on. Flip. Get in there. Ha. Nothing ah. of use. There. See? Take cigar. That's how it's done. Shit. 
Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here, make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Inspect. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. You got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat he's ordered from Europe. <laughs> I am not robbing another boat as long as I live. Take bill stack. Have you checked all the drawers and cabinets? I'm checking, you son of a bitch. Come on, let's hurry this along, boys. Any luck? Like there's a bomb in Nothing here. Nothing much. No, yeah. This looks like something. Let's keep looking. Those goddamn O'Driscolls. Some bombs. Probably. I think I got them. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Fine brandy. I'll take that. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you! Let's ride! How do you just leave yeah. me? Like, why not send me and like two of the other guys? Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. Here's so much as a footstep from this car. You'll end up like all your friends out here. Motherfucker. I tried, he like ran away right after I released him. Like motherfucker. Two out of three. That's a pretty long train. Hopefully my good name goes out there being like I left two out of three of them alive. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. <laughs> Curing that one. Bring Hosea. 
I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Pretty relaxing music. Lenny, Micah, get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead. Make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Buy him a whiskey. speed with the caravan. Am I still wearing my mask? Get us out the stream. Watch out for the rocks. Gotta keep us moving, but calm. Ah, shit. Shit. Okay. Let's take a look. You all right back there? I didn't Everything do that. Look all right. Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles. What you gonna hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur? You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <sighs> Bash the wheel. That's how you fix the wheel. I think. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. I bet the cops are like gonna appear on Yep. It's the cops or that's something. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. They stole their land. You. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left, inland. Yeah. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was. Every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well... Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to mm -hmm. simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our blockheaded driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget. This here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. 
So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did, but when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long story. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe yes. so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkerton's? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait. What's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Yep. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this we're line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Oh well, damn, for a second I thought he died over. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Yep. You acquired some herb. You can uh, consume to replenish your ores used in cooking. Oh, well, let's just get there. A variety of plants can be picked up throughout the world. Pick them. Oh shit. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Ooh. Hey, slow up. Is it Jose? Can Jose? Hell on! I swear okay, to God, we're taking forever. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. I knew it. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. <laughs> The hell? Here we are, just run over home something. Sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place is Here perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept in our neck. I guess I'm just worried. 
I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the west. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here. My brother. And we again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know. Finally, I'm going to be open to the open world. But we are safe now. And we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time. For everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is God that you damn, find, you're fat. the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. Let me shave. This is a tent? This is shit. Motherfuckers. You gave me the worst ass shit. I swear, Dutch and Pearson better not have better stuff than me. Well, I'm gonna be pissed. Got off the mountain. Ooh. Rode east into some... Pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. And I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier. In spite of black water and that whole mess. Tell me I what happened in Blackwater. Jose. Quite a day. Let's you drink so. and maintain your course. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> Let me 